all right guys welcome back to the channel if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button because you're going to want to watch some of this stuff maybe i don't know maybe you think i'm an idiot and you don't want to watch it but that's fine you do you um but today's video is going to be five essential surf fishing items that i take with me 99 percent of the time so let's go ahead and jump into it all right the first item on the list is going to be a casting glove um, this one's made out of neoprene a little bit of leather right here neoprene back i mean it literally goes around your wrist that goes over your finger and it's going to protect you from cutting yourself and prey um, especially when you start getting down to that 20 15 10 pound braid that stuff is really thin diameter and if you're throwing heavy weights and you're rearing back and really rip, whipping them out there there's a good chance you're going to cut yourself and, and there's a possibility you can even cut yourself down to the bone especially if you don't have your drag mash down and that braid slips a little bit uh the four strand braid it's rough it's like sawing right through your finger i mean not what you want to do so i'm always going to bring a casting glove with me um this one's actually got a little velcro on the back so you can stick it down i've used it so much that it doesn't so what i do i just tuck it back there stays out of the way and i don't have to worry about cutting my finger and it doesn't matter if i'm throwing four ounce weights as hard as i can there's not going to be the chance of me cutting myself real bad all right item number two is going to be the sand flea ray it's it's invaluable especially when the sand fleas are thick all you gotta do is figure out what you're looking for run down there scoop you up i mean there's times where one scoop you'll have bait for the rest of the rest of the trip i mean there, there's times where you may get 20 or 30 fleas in one scoop other times you're gonna have to work a little harder but it's it's such a, a valuable bait uh, it, it's it's probably my second most favorite bait so anytime i can get sand fleas i'm gonna be out there trying to scoop them up all right item three the ghost room pump this this thing pays for itself instantly um, if, if you're in an area and you're seeing ghost shrimp mounds and you don't have a ghost shrimp pump all you're doing is you're, you're hurting yourself it's it is the number one pompano bait and, and typically that's why i like to catch I, i'm going to target pompano year round because you just never know when a school is going to come through so it's always something i'm i'm going after and ghost shrimp are the number one pompano bait here on the alabama golf coast and plain and simple there are days where they're not going to hit sand fleas they're not going to hit fresh dead shrimp you gotta have ghost shrimp i mean it's hands down the best pompano bait there is um and that's down here at the alabama golf coast you you may be somewhere else and you may catch pompano primarily on clams or something i don't know but i know what works here and that's ghost shrimp so what you can do run to your local bait and tackle i got this one from sam's over in orange beach um, you, you can make them i mean it's, it's literally just pvc and, and a plunger there in the inside the tube there um bearded brad he's got a, a how-to on how to make a ghost shrimp pump so go over to his channel and and look that up and make you a ghost shrimp pump and if if you want to be lazy like me and you, and you don't want to make one go buy one but it's it's definitely something you're going to want to have in your surf cart all right and item number four is going to be an aluminum sand spike I quit using the plastic, the PVC sand spikes, and went straight to aluminum, and it is night and day. They're, they're not gonna break on you. They're gonna last a lifetime. You can get them in the ground easier. You can get them in the ground deep, deeper. Deeper, is that a word? Deeper, easier. Combine them, you get deeper. You can get them in the ground deeper than you can plastic uh, or PVC sand spikes. Uh, and they are expensive. So you may have to buy one or two here once in a while um, i got lucky and I, and I found mine on ebay i was just happening to search uh aluminum sand spikes and, and found a deal on ebay and, and bought six of them it's they are just so much better than than the plastic sand spikes uh, i regret not getting them earlier than i did but it, it's a it's a good investment because you're not going to lose your rods 
That is if you keep your drag set light on your reels while you have your rods in these sand spikes. But I, I don't feel fear to walk away from my gear when I've got my drag loose and I've got my rods in these aluminum sand spikes. I'll walk 50, 60 yards down the beach looking for ghost shrimp or sand fleas and know that when I get back, even if I have a huge red on there, my rod's going to stay in that sand spike and that sand spike's going to stay deep in the sand. All right, guys, and the fifth and final item on the list, fish bites or fish gum, either one. I'm not just pushing fish bites, I'm gonna push fish gum as well. They both work, they're both great baits. If you don't have both, you're hurting yourself as well. Every time I'm throwing natural bait out, I'm gonna have a hunk of fish gum or fish bite on there as well. It's, it's too valuable not to have. In fact, you need to have a bag of each. That's just gonna increase your odds of catching fish even more. There are days out here where you, you wing out your natural bait, it comes flying off and you don't notice. If you don't have fish bites or fish gum on, you're sitting out there with an empty hook. There's days where the bait stealers are thick. They go out there and they, they peck off your natural bait in a heartbeat. Your fish bite or fish gum, it's at least gonna last on there a little longer. It, it's not gonna last all day, but at least you're gonna have something on your hook and it's gonna increase your odds of catching fish. And there are days when you can use straight fish gum or straight fish bites Put a combination, put a hunk of both on your hook, and you can catch fish just on straight fish gum and fish bites. So it is definitely something you want to have every time you go out surf fishing. And what I do every time I get 100 new subscribers, I'm giving something away. Today's that day. Super simple. All you gotta do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, make a comment below. I don't care what you comment. You can put a period, you can call me an idiot, you can tell me you love me, whatever you want. That's it. Just do those three things. Like, subscribe, and comment. And then next week I will pick a winner and I will get you some free loot. But I'm going to wrap this video up, so until next time, I'll see you later.